Hey everyone, it's Quentin from QP Tech again with some more rail updates. And I guess the first, uh, well, the changes I've made are to the signaling system. You'll see this little weird setup where carts are going around and loading and unloading. So you'll see this cart here is loading up with blocks and it switched that so it can go up and unload but then you'll see this cart here has gone by and it has not uh, tripped this rail and that's because it's empty so it's not putting out a stronger signal because I've added in a signaling system you can see how it's testing it here it's somewhat like uh, I guess compared to Minecraft but it now will send out uh, by default up to 16 blocks and with these things these uh, rail switches the player uh, sends a strength of 16 when they switch the block so you can see they all go up and down down the line so the signal will travel right through all the different uh, signal switches and also the signal can transfer through these uh, detector rails so you see this guy's about to load up. So what's happened is it's heavy enough. It sends a thing based on the percentage of how full that minecart is. So it's sent enough to go to here, then here, then here, then here, which switches this rail. And then this one is just setting the rail back. So it's sort of an automated, you could have in your mind just carts that wait around until basically they're full and then off they go. So anyways, it opens up a lot with the signaling system. It's pretty comparable to redstone, except it's only a single pulse. There's no uh, continued on and off, but that is doable, I guess. So I need to add some more repeaters. I mean, for now I can just leave these rails. And also I'm pretty sure at this point that we're going to uh, separate this rail mod from QP Tech. So that if you want some rails, but you don't want all the load of QP Tech or it's too easy or whatever, just if your preference is not to have QP Tech, at least you can still get these carts. And so I just have uh, working out some issues with that mainly with to do with uh like the parts that we'll use to build these uh the wooden rails are just made with planks i just have to get that recipe to show up but then this i'm not sure what i'll do i could add a set of smithable parts and whatnot but those are already in qp tech so uh you could see the parts list for, oh, for qp tech so if I split it, then I lose all of these, which would be handled like screws and rods, be very handy, and channels, bolts. This would all be super handy to have in the rail, not yet to be named rail mod, but uh, they won't be available. Now, if you have both, I could add a set of recipes that would use this or have QP Tech machines able to kick out parts that... Uh, the rail mod can uh, handle but yeah just not sure we've been discussing on mod forums with other modders how we would even handle this because I know there's some other mods out there there's some smithing ones and stuff that add extra parts it just seems a shame to keep adding copies of parts I mean the same thing happens in Minecraft modding but uh, yeah, so I'm not sure how I'm going to handle all that, or I might just see what I can do with, you know, vanilla parts does have some stuff that I could maybe dig into. I mean, these are all wood, but maybe I could to grab the angle gears. Uh, axles, I guess, are obvious ones. And fat and planks. And I mean, there is iron and stuff, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I might just have a very simplified uh, parts tree for the minecart mod. Anyways, uh, go ahead and check out the Discord. The link's down below. I do have uh, 
a uh, Kofi and a uh, Patreon for donations. And like, if you happen to donate, if you just sort of put somewhere just in notes or whatever, like I'm supporting Chisel Mod or I'm supporting QP Tech or I'm supporting Rail Mod, and then like if I get a bunch of people supporting a specific one, then I'll just know, okay, this is what people are most interested in. But anyways, that's not necessary or expected in any way. Just if you happen to do it, then of course I'm appreciative and that will just help me to know where to focus on, which I think right now is going to be the train mod because let's face it, we all want minecarts in vintage story. <laughs> anyways, uh, thanks for watching.